welcome we want to draw a rectangle same area to a given pentagon this pentagon here we are we are just going to draw it as a arbitrary irregular pentagon with no dimensions so let me just draw a pentagon i'm just drawing a pentagon it's irregular because the size might not be equal we can call this a and then we can have even b here when we complete our pentagon we can have this line because a pentagon is a five-sided this is one have two have three an irregular pentagon so you can say this is c d e now the thing is how do we draw this pentagon so that we get how do we draw a rectangle out of this pentagon so that they are of the same area so the procedure that we shall follow is one we shall connect diagonals from D to A, D to B. These are just straight lines. Then again we join D to B. That is the first step. Second step, we are going to draw a line that is parallel to D, A from E to meet A, B produced on the left hand side. We are going to draw a line pro, uh, parallel to D, A from E to meet this line produced on the left. How do you draw a parallel line to this? We first of all take set squares. We align this way. Okay. That's the what how we do it. Then we can fix on a line. Just the way we did with the divisions of a line. So we can now print. Of course, this line will have to move so that it starts now from A to meet the base. Same applies to this other side. We shall draw a line from C to meet B, AP produced on the right, that is parallel to D, B. So again, we do the same thing. We can do it this way. Then we move it. Of course, we can fix it first. Let's align. Then we fix it at the base. Then we move this. This is the one that is moving. We look for this point C. Once we get point C, we can draw that line. So this is the line. We can call it X, Y. Okay, that is the first. Thing we are going to do next we shall draw a triangle out of this it's like now we want to convert a polygon to give us a triangle of equal area how do we get it we join this point to that we join this point to that so we shall join B, A, bx and then we join d y okay next we shall draw a perpendicular from D to meet AB. That is what we shall do. Now, how do we draw a perpendicular from D to meet okay, or AB? It means we are going to use your compass. Use your compass. We stand at Because we want to draw a perpendicular to meet this, okay, to meet AB, we shall stand at D, we take a compass, make an arc. Once we have that arc, we establish where the arc crosses the base, here it is, then here it is. So, we shall take an arc 
a compass again stand at that point to that point make an arc make that is dropping a path a perpendicular from a point to meter line then come here cross that cross that so that is a perpendicular then we can draw it because now it's going to meet AB at a given point so it goes that is the perpendicular then we can call it E we are going to bisect line DE we bisect DE so we come with your compass starting at D to E we bisect it run arc run arc come here cross an arc cross an arc so we shall draw that straight line it's a bisector draw this straight line it is a continuous line so once we have drawn this straight line of course it's a bisector we shall draw what call from y to meet that line from x to meet that line using your t square your z square you can bring this now we are completing our rectangle from here bring draw that come here Y draw that sorry 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 for that then lastly come here we complete this other line the latter line comes from here so this one becomes our expected rectangle that is equal in area to our polygon that we did at first the pentagon that we had at first. so the procedure if you want to follow the procedure one have you one pentagon okay then transform it into a triangle then convert the triangle into the rectangle that you want okay and that's why first of all we had our polygon it was a e b c from there we joined from here to here from here to here okay then we had a line parallel to d a from e to meet a b produced on the left to call we called it x then we had a line parallel to where is it now to this db from c to meet ab produced on the right we called it y now we joined x y d to give us a triangle a uh, triangle and then from there we dropped a perpendicular from d back to our baseline then we bisected that de to give us this bisector then where the bisectors meet the line from y vertical upwards and x vertical upwards gives us the corners of the rectangle that we are drawing. Thank you very much. Kindly don't forget to hit the bell.